After years of changing strategies, delays, and fresh starts, recent confirmations from Elon Musk and Tesla itself reveal that the Tesla Model 2 is finally in production. It looks like the final version of this vehicle will be something no one fully saw coming, and the long-rumored price of $15,789 has now been officially confirmed. Even more importantly, Elon Musk has announced that the Model 2 is expected to become the most mass-produced car in history, with production potentially reaching nearly 50 million units. That would blow past Tesla's current bestseller, the Model Y. Now, everyone is watching Tesla closely to find out what this mooch-anticipated budget-friendly car will actually deliver. Why is the entire electric car market so eagerly awaiting a vehicle built on so many rumors? Welcome to Ano Intel. Tap that subscribe button and turn on the bell. Be one of the first to ride this wave. So how did Tesla lock in the sale price of the Model 2? It's not guaranteed to arrive in June or even by the last quarter of the year because the Model 2 could launch at any point during 2025. But one thing is clear. It's on track to be the cheapest Tesla ever, priced at around $15,000. $789. And with the $7,500 federal EV tax credit in the US, it might feel like you're getting a deal on a high-tech scooter, not a car. But let's be real. This isn't a luxury car. It's Tesla's effort to bring electric driving to average folks tired of paying $4 a gallon for gas. Now here's the big promise. Elon Musk claims that the Model 2 will become the most mass-produced car ever, with an ambitious goal of 42 to 50 million units. To put that in perspective, the Toyota Corolla, one of the most iconic cars ever, has sold around 50 million units since the 1960s. Tesla is banking on a brand new 50,000-ton gigapress to make it happen. This is a beast of a machine over eight times stronger than the 6,000-ton press used for the Model Y. It can stamp out five car frames at once, cutting both production time and manufacturing costs. Dramatically. Compare that to traditional car makers like Ford, who still build F-150s piece by piece. Tesla's system looks more like something out of a sci-fi movie. But there's a catch if this huge gigapress ever breaks down, fixing it could be a nightmare. After all, it's about the size of a small house. The Model 2 structure is where things really get interesting. Its body is cast as a single solid piece, reducing the number of parts from more than 200 down to around 80. Imagine building a Lego car with fewer blocks easier, faster, and fewer things that can break. The process begins with melting aluminum at a blistering 850 degrees C. Impurities are filtered out, then the molten metal is poured into a mold, cooled fast to increase strength, and scanned using x-rays. Artificial intelligence takes over from there, checking for quality like a high-tech inspector. It's efficient, no doubt. But AI isn't perfective. There's a small flaw in the casting. The entire frame could be wasted. So why is this a big deal? At just $15,789, the Model 2 is far cheaper than the competition. The Chevy Bolt starts at $26,500. Even some basic gas-powered cars, like the Nissan Versa at $18,000, cost more. And with gas expected to average $3, 50 per gallon in 2025, and EV charging about 50% cheaper over time, the Model 2 could save you a chunk of money. Maybe even enough for a few extra coffee runs. But don't expect a mini luxury car. This ride will likely skip the heated seats and glass roof. Tesla's focus is on producing a huge number of vehicles, not packing them with fancy features. What's clever is how Tesla is changing what value means in the EV world. For under $16,000, buyers get more than just an affordable ride there getting into Tesla's connected world. That means over-the-air software updates, access to Tesla's wide supercharger network, and the same clean, techie vibe that defines its higher-end models. Getting this kind of brand consistency at a budget price is almost unheard of in the car industry. It's not just about buying a car, it's about stepping into a smarter, cleaner future, even with a limited budget.
Tesla's streamlined approach to making cars gives it a major edge. While other companies juggle rising material costs and stricter emissions laws, Tesla controls almost everything in-house from building batteries to managing logistics with AI. This helps them cut costs and pass the savings on to buyers, all while still making a profit. It's a long-term plan. Lower prices, higher adoption, and ultimately domination of the budget EV market. Another interesting angle is resale value. Chip cars normally lose value fast, but Tesla's reputation, reliable battery performance, and constant software updates could help the Model 2 hold its value better than similarly priced gas cars. It might become the first truly affordable car that doesn't feel disposable. In a world where cheap usually means you're giving something up, the Model 2 aims to do the opposite. If Tesla delivers even most of what it promises, this won't just be the lowest cost Tesla, it might be the most important. For millions of people who haven't been able to afford an EV, this isn't just a car. It's a chance to join the clean energy movement without breaking the bank. So, what does the Tesla Model 2 actually look like? That's still a mystery. Tesla is famously secretive about its upcoming models. The best look we've had so far came from a teaser image shown at Tesla's 2023 shareholder event. It showed a sloped roof line, hinting at a shape somewhere between the Model Y SUV and the Model 3 sedan. Earlier this year, a blurry photo leaked online, supposedly taken inside Tesla's Fremont factory. It showed a small two-door hatchback. While it wasn't an official photo, People noted the car appeared to be about 30% smaller than a Model Y, lending some weight to the idea that this was a Model 2 prototype. Since then, however, there haven't been any new leaks or official design reveals. What we do know is that the Model 2 won't look like the long Model 3. Its compact crossover shape is designed for easy city driving and tight parking ideal for places like California, Texas, or Florida. It has a short rear end with little trunk overhang, saving space inside while keeping the vehicle compact. That helps with both performance and range, and also appeals to Americans who want function and style in one package. Dana from the U.S. Department of Transportation shows that compact crossovers are one of the fastest growing vehicle types, with a 15% increase in market share from 2018 to YNA. 2023 so, Tesla is tapping into a trend that's gaining momentum. Even though the Model 2 won't have luxury features, it will still feel like a Tesla. Basic autopilot will come standard, including adaptive cruise control and lane keeping, which the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says can lower accident rates by up to 40%. The big touchscreen, probably a bit smaller than the Model 3 15-inch display will, still be the main control hub offering navigation, music, and car settings in one place. Like other Teslas, the Model 2 will be connected to the Tesla app, allowing remote control over things like air conditioning and door locks. And over the air, software updates will continue to bring new features and improvements without needing to visit a dealership. Analysts say this feature alone saved Tesla owners around $1.6 billion, billion in maintenance in 2024. To keep the cost low, some things will be missing dual pane windows, heated seats, a rear touchscreen, power tailgate, and a panoramic glass roof are unlikely. But that helps Tesla target a price closer to $15,000 instead of $40,000. That's a smart move when gas-powered SUVs like the Honda CR5 and Toyota RAV4 dominate the market but can't match Tesla's electric efficiency or software experience. And just like with the Cybercab, Tesla is playing it close to the vest. That vehicle was so top secret that it was tested at night to avoid leaks. So we shouldn't expect to see an official Model 2 design until Tesla is ready. Still, all signs suggest it will look more like a smaller Model 3 than anything futuristic like the Cybertruck. Some people think the Model 2 will share a lot with the Cybercab, because they're both supposed to use Tesla's next-gen platform. That's true in theory, and it would save money to share components. But they'll still be very different vehicles.
The CyberCab is being built using a new unboxed manufacturing method that isn't ready yet and won't be for at least another year. The Model 2, on the other hand, is being built using Tesla's current, well-tested methods, which makes it easier to launch sooner. That also means the Model 2 will probably look more traditional and appealing to everyday buyers. The Model 3 is one of the most praised EVs today for its mix of affordability, performance, and tech, so designing the Model 2 as a mini version of that makes sense. It's expected to be about 20% smaller than the Model 3. It might have started out as a hatchback idea, but current leaks and reports suggest it'll be a compact crossover. Performance-wise, the Model 2 will still offer that zippy Tesla acceleration, but toned down a bit. It might do 0 to 60 mph in around 5 to 7 seconds. Not lightning fast, but still solid. It'll still have that instant torque, but the suspension might be simpler to save money. Inside, it'll follow Tesla's usual minimalist approach, but they'll avoid going too far. Tesla learned from the mixed feedback on the Cybertruck's bold, polarizing design. And what about families or groups? Tesla might be working on a new, larger EV tailored for that exact purpose. Right now, Tesla's Model X fits seven passengers, but costs too much for many families. The Model Y can also seat seven with a third row, but it's tight in the back. So Tesla could be working on something bigger, like the robo-van shown at the 2024 Wii Robot event. It's still early, but it's designed to be flexible and spacious good for sports teams, families, or even mobile workspaces. This new large EV could include features like customizable seats, advanced driver assist, and fast charging. Combine that with Tesla's supercharger network, and long trips could be worry-free. If priced well and built with care, this could be the family car of the future, just like the Model Y reshaped the small SUV space. So, are you excited about the idea of the Tesla Model 2? A budget-friendly EV that helps save the planet and maybe even saves you money? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching Auto Intel. If you want more updates on Tesla EVs or the Tesla bot, hit that like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Auto Intel with notifications turned on. We appreciate your support and can't wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye.